Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be finishing that piece of flaming box outer we were sanding in the last Um, we got it sanded down. Looks phenomenal. Just absolutely awesome. I love the coloration, the grain figure in it, the embedded bark. It's perfect. It's just an awesome, awesome looking piece. We're going to seal it today with tabletop uh, resin epoxy from Total Boat. Uh, total boat tabletop resin epoxy and we also have two rounds that I was asked to make a cupcake tray for a wedding um, we're gonna be sealing the back sides of it with tuck tape throw a little color in it still not sure of the color uh, the last video I showed you a few different pigment colors that I have and brands that I use um, here's another one and I believe I have one other brand in here. I just get whatever is the cheapest. Um, eye candy and or something like that. They do make a quality product. I'm not taking anything away from them. But for what I'm doing, uh, when you when you learn how to do it, you mix a couple of the colors together, you can get that. Uh, candied effect you can get the metallic effect <clears throat> uh, this one company actually these are awesome do not use them in your house which is what I'm doing right now cross uni unicone yeah, unicone art crushed crystals uh, magical mica that stuff is phenomenal um, we are just going to jump right into it. I'm going to set this up so you guys can watch. Uh, first, I'm going to tape before I mix any epoxy because I'm going to mix it clear at first. Do the piece of box outer and then add pigment to it and do the colored in the rounds. So I'm going to set this up so you guys. Oh, excuse me, I have the hiccups. I'm not sure why that happens whenever I make a video. I very rarely get them unless I'm eating bread for whatever reason. Bread makes me hiccup. It's weird to share with you guys, I'm sure. Apparently YouTube videos as well. Oh. Alright. So, we're going to start. Where did I say we were going to start going? With the tape. We're going to start with the tape, um, slide this over, come up a little bit closer to you guys. Don't mind this, it's pouring outside. Um, we would be in my wood shop, but I took every piece that I'm going to be using within the near future here inside and just crammed it in so it doesn't get wet. I start, the best way to explain it is this is the top side, the back has a little bit of goof, uh, goof up on it there, I spilled a little epoxy, so take it from the front, how do I want to explain it, take it from the front right over the edge, wrap it underneath, which I thought I had a knife here. And also, if you guys have any uh, requests, if you want to see any specific types of wood, um, mainly woods that are uh, native to the East Coast, um, I work with walnut, uh, maple, cherry. They're the most popular, I would say. White oak. Um, I do red oak. Not a lot of people are crazy about red oak around the area. It was kind of overused. I live in central central Pennsylvania, and we have a lot of Amish uh, around here, and a lot of a lot of pallet shops, a lot of um, cabinet cabinetry shops, and just a lot of competition in general. I don't 
I, I, I can do cabinetry. I have done cabinetry by request. Um, I don't prefer to do it. The market around my area is is uh, swamped, flooded with competition. So you kind of got to be on top of your game. You have to do the best that you can. Um, and this is pretty simple. I mean, I just put this stuff, you'll see when you start using it, is just absolutely amazing. A friend of mine, uh, JM, thank you. Thank you for telling me about this stuff. I was having a heck of a time with epoxy for a while. A good buddy of mine gave me a few tips, told me about tuck tape, so I'll share it with you too. I get mine on Amazon. I'm not sure. I'm sure Lowe's, Home Depot, any of the any of the bigger stores. Maybe your local hardware stores. Who knows? I've seen people say any any tape will work, and I have used many different kinds, don't get me wrong. But, if there's a tape that works the best, why not use it? Um, for the most part, I do everything so the average guy can afford it, but would you rather lose a gallon of epoxy or, you know, whatever you're pouring to tape? because I've lost more money in epoxy than I've spent in tape due to other tapes failing. So, that's, that's your choice completely. Peach, don't. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> My dog thinks I'm talking to somebody. Peach, enough. guys the culprit. Two, two dogs are in here. It's not you, is it? It's not you, big girl. Like their own little personal sofas in here. Stop, honey. You're fine. Okay, guys. That's my fault. Back at it. You're all right. You're okay. Back at it here. <clears throat> um. Them dogs have been with me for a long time. Just venturing into this YouTube, so to them, now I can't find the end of my tape. I usually fold it. This stuff is thin. It is sticky. Son of a gun. There she be. Um, those dogs have been with me for a long time. My first time venturing into YouTube here. I've made one video and this is the follow up on that. They probably think I'm pretty crazy. Sitting here talking to myself. I kind of feel like it, but <laughs> that isn't because of YouTube. That's just natural. That's all natural. So like I said, these are pine. Uh, they're for, which are actually really popular for you guys getting into woodworking and starting. Something super simple, easy to make, and a fast return on your money. Uh, try making a cupcake tray. Now, whenever you're drying your rounds and you bring them inside, <clears throat> I've had very few, I have one here somewhere, I've had very few, uh, especially pine, rounds that don't crack whenever you're doing, whenever you're drying them. Um, it's just not the natural way the grain runs, a lot of reasons to it. I did 
did on the last one as well. I always take one on the outside because of the crack, just to kind of seal it in. Put four or five across the bottom. Make sure you press it in real good around the seams, around all the little lines. And hold. And I just noticed in this one it had a lot of, uh, I don't want to say dirt, a lot of shavings inside of it. What you want to do, one thing remember that you're putting, what? Well, and, and if you're doing it clear, that's another thing. I'm putting color in it, and I'm going to do a deep color that isn't transparent at all. You can see straight through it. <clears throat> um, but if you're going with clear, you're going to want to make sure to get it dirt free. Which, mine are fairly clean. They just weren't the smoothest. Pretty tough old box there. Um... So now, I use a digital scale. Uh, I just got O-Z-E-R-I. <clears throat> Oziri. Not sure how you say that. Uh, I had already started to pour. I had already started to pour. Um, I had 330 grams. I'm not sure how that translate to, translates to milliliters and this and that, but I just use use whatever you want, just so it's the same. It's a 50/50 mix. Uh, total boat tabletop. Billy strings in the background. Shout out to Billy. You get me through these days, Bubba. You make awesome music. And I enjoy your concerts. Had an awesome time this year in William, uh, I think it was Williamsport, wherever we were. Mohegan Sun, that's where it was. We had an awesome time at that concert, man. Awesome, awesome time. Okay, guys. So, underneath this, just to keep it off the floor, I have a, a top to a crate. Um, I use... Uh, I bought a drill, put an inch paddle bit on it for small projects. I've used it and only it to mix epoxy for about the last year now. Um, and then I also have, which if you're doing anything like this, you're going to want. This one we're going to want a little bit thicker. They have different, let me get a little closer here. They have different teeth availabilities. Um, This one's a 316th and this one should be the 38th. Yep. It all depends on the thickness you want. Obviously, the bigger the tooth, the thicker it's going to lay. So, this is our final coat. We're going to get her nice and heavy. Um, I guess I brought the epoxy up there. And. I'm going to pause this real quick, guys, because I don't have my torch in here. It's out in the shop. Give me a minute, and we will be right back with you. All right, back with you. Torch. Just that way we have everything here, and we're ready. And... Yep. Now, 
this is hands down the most important part of epoxy. Um, hold on, let me figure something out one second. If I lose. That way you guys can read it the right way. Um, this is the most important part of epoxy. It is the part that I've learned will make you or break you. Um, mixing the epoxy correctly is the most important part of doing resin epoxy. I said I use an inch paddle bit. Um, I don't just get in there and squeeze the trigger and go as fast as I can go. You can hear that it's going fairly slow. What you don't want to do is whip it. Uh, and what I mean by that, you'll be able to tell, which I can show you. First, we're going to do the clear coat on top of the box holder slab. And whenever I uh, mix the pigment in, before I mix the pigment in, I can whip it to show you what it looks like whenever epoxy will have too many air bubbles and you just won't you'll never get the clear clear finish um i'm not sure whenever i turn the phone around i can't see and obviously i can't tip this over but it let me pick up the phone here once it And then I always take it to make sure I got it off the sides and the bottom. Spin it around by hand. Pick it up. Just kind of look at it and make sure that the epoxy is all the same consistency, color. And I'll show you what I mean by that here in one second. Total Boat makes a great, great product. Um, like I said, I'm not fully sponsored by them or even partially sponsored at this point. Um, they did send me some samples to work with. We have been talking back and forth uh, to try to figure out where we can go as a team. Great, great uh, customer service. Great faculty there it's just awesome and what I'm doing you see me looking there what I'm doing I just wanted to put a little bit all I did and I'll show you here to do the last of it I was just letting it run like that so it went right into that hole I'm also gonna do these little pinholes and I will show you the consistency of the I didn't forget about that but I want to get these little pinholes filled in first that way they can start Soaking the epoxy down in some while I show you and talk here for a minute. We'll let this soak down in. But this is one of the things that I always do is make sure I hit any of the voids first, any of the low spots first before taking the leveler over it. And what this allows it to do, it just allows it to lay nice and even. It's self-leveling. Um, and it's on you to mess it up, basically. Which I've definitely done. So. If you don't have the best luck with epoxy, do not get frustrated. Um, like I did. I actually started... can kind of see that there's bubbles that sit on the top but the cloudiness of it that's what you want you don't want a ton of the air bubbles in it look I'm getting the hiccups and as I start the talking on the video and pick up a phone must be nerves um I'll show you here on the box so whenever you pour it it is crystal clear I mean absolutely crystal crystal clear so 
we're gonna I'm gonna do it with you here. Okay. Now I want the big tooth. Trial, which of course I would leave up there. I'm gonna set you guys down to do this. That way I can make sure it's done properly. Can't really see. Whoa. Hang on. Hang on for the ride. Sorry about that. Oh yeah. yeah. I promise you that the video quality will get better once I get where I want to be as far as the shop and everything I need. I'm going to get a tripod and just get everything that I need. I was going to wait. To start the YouTube videos until after I had got the equipment but I have a lot of projects going right now a lot of orders coming up I didn't want you guys to miss out on Try the 
This is taking a little more than I thought, but that's no problem at all. I just meant as far as to show you. the whipping effect I was talking about but we're gonna mix up another batch which I'll just whip right from the start and show you and and, and to be honest with you for a while I only dig color as I learned I started to do more and more clear projects um, by whipping it the effect you get it, it's not clear if you're trying to do a, a final coat or a, a clear cast or anything like that this isn't the method that you want to work that, that I'm going to be showing you you'll want to do it just like this but as far as whipping it itself that's how I've figured out how to get it to harden finally and and I wasn't using total boat also I was using a cheaper epoxy that gave me the worst experience for a beginner you could have asked well like I said so bad that I actually had quit doing epoxy for about two Two and a half years, a little more. Ooh, that was sharp. Just slice my finger right up there. That's good. That's not what you want to do. Because now I have epoxy on my finger that I just cut. Give me one second. One second. We'll take you over with me that way. You're not just staring at a bike. I kind of, kind of got me there. Such a right there. Kids are in daycare, Max is at school today, mom's at work right now, I'm probably going to epoxy this wedding ring to my finger, that would not be fun, she would love it. I mean it's on there anyway, but I'd rather not have it epoxy to my hand, just for comfort reasons. Um, so, now, back to what we were doing, ring off, okay, so now I have that all poured, fairly even, um, I do see a few low spots, no big problem, we'll just make sure and you want to actually get down level with it and look the only other spot I have is this right, right here and another thing you want to try to get them the best that you can but another thing is whenever you take the torch to it here next which is what I'm doing now actually we'll let that set a second you have around 20 minutes with tabletop um, epoxy for working time. So we're gonna let that go. I'm gonna mix up another bigger batch. <clears throat> and you wanna make sure that you don't do anything else over top of your over top of your uh, piece because if you get dirt in it right now or anything it's going to be in there for quite a while <clears throat> okay now made a big batch of epoxy because I know once I start torching, <clears throat> I do what they call dirty pours. I find it works best. We're whipping this one. Cranking it.
Just make sure it's mixed real well. For touch-up, and with Total Boat, to be honest, it comes back fairly clear, even when you do this. I don't want to say crystal clear, because that would be a lie. Um, but, if you do that to any epoxy, it's going to look like trash trying to get it clear. Unless you have a vac over any any kind of you know pressure pots or anything like that, then you can get the air bubbles out. But if we're going strictly on just epoxy, there's not too many epoxies out there that will look good when you do that. That will be clear. Now, like I was saying though, for what I'm doing, we're going to set this down. For what I'm doing, we, uh, we don't need it crystal clear. I think I'm going to take the torch over this one first, and you guys will be laughing. Don't mind me. I have to hold the tip on. I broke the tip off of it. Just the tip. Just the tip. Yeah, I broke the tip off the other day. But, if I hold it on by hand for now, it does what you want. And you can see, now you guys won't be able to see, and no matter how I held that, you wouldn't be able to see. There's almost what looks like spider webs or very small oil lines. Um, I guess that would be the best way. If you think of oil and water, the way that it looks without the coloration, tip sturdy. And as soon as you take the torch over it, it takes that effect off, makes it lay perfectly. I gotta turn this fan, that's what's screwing me. Okay, now, that fan was hitting it and sending it all crazy. Take this torch over it. And it lays, and you don't want to overheat, that's the key. You can definitely, definitely overheat. safest way to do it no but it does work so I want to show you guys <clears throat> the whipping effect what the whipping effect has on do you see the bubbles on the top I'm sure that is what happens when you whip it? How to fix it? Eh, you don't. You don't worry about it. Throw some mica powder in it. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the, and I brought you guys closer here. Um, put you right here. Right now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the crushed crystals first. Put them in. Okay, and like I said, they are man, they're awesome as far as the purpose of them. Gosh, but you want to talk about a nightmare as far as mess. 
Just think of the finest of fine glitters. Literally everywhere right now. All over me. Um, I think we're going to do with the gold. It's actually a brush copper, but it's more gold. Do the gold. With some crushed crystal. Put a decent little chunk in there. Make sure it's good and dark. Hide those bubbles. And actually, I have another uh, Radicho. Radicho. Not sure. Leave a comment. Let me know what that, what this word is. So, now. Give you guys a first hand view here. sure it looks more gold than standing here in the video than standing here in person it looks a little more red but beautiful color all right so now we simply slide this one over right here Set the cup up on there. Don't want any messes. I just let her drain down in. Make sure you see it the whole way across the bottom. Like right there. I see that it's laid the whole way across the bottom. You'll want to push the access in. And also, I see a few other small cracks right here. I'm going to lay a little bit on. Just to give it a little more character. And we're almost done with this video, guys. Uh... Thank you for watching. I'm going to pour a little bit in this one. I'm not going to just drain it in. I'm just going to do the pour to finish.